So what is the difference between a drawing template and a sheet format? In SOLIDWORKS, the sheet format refers to the title block. This typically resides at the bottom of the drawing where information is contained in the form of cells. The sheet format contains information on the structure of the cells and the information contained within those cells, which can be in the form of notes or pictures. The lines that define the drawing zones also form part of the sheet format. So think of the sheet format as the foundational layout of your drawing. When it comes to the drawing template, we are mainly talking about properties that you can change inside of drafting standards. To change them, go to Options, Document Properties. Here, you can change things like the balloon style, arrow style, the font size of your notes, how your detailed views look, and much much more. Basically, the drawing template affects the styling of your drawing views and any other pieces of information that you place in your drawing. It is important to take note that the sheet format is a part of the drawing template. So think of a sheet format as a child part of a template. Let's go through a simple example which ties in everything that has been explained so far. With this part, I will create a drawing. Upon doing that, you will be presented with a window to choose your drawing template. Any future template that you create yourself is going to appear in this window. For now, I am going to choose the default template. At this point, you will also be prompted to choose a sheet format. I will choose one of the formats that come preloaded with SOLIDWORKS. I want to create my own sheet format based on this pre-existing one. So right click and choose Edit Sheet Format. I am going to create a new cell here. I will also add a node here. Lastly, I'm going to add a picture here. You can add your own trademark or company logo. Once done, go to the top right hand corner to exit out of editing the sheet format. At this point, we want to save this sheet format. Go to File, Save Sheet Format. Create a new name and save it in the default folder. The next thing you need to do is to right click and go to Properties. Browse and look for the sheet format that has just been created. Select that sheet format and click OK. This will ensure that every subsequent new sheet that you create will load this sheet format. Next, I would like to change some of the properties in my drawing template. First, I will drag in a front view of the model. I will add in some ordinate dimensions to the model. So I don't want chain dimensions to appear while I'm doing the ordinate dimensioning. So let's go to Options. Document Properties Under Ordinate Dimensions, uncheck Display as Chain Dimension You can also change the font of your dimensions For demonstration purposes, I will choose a more obvious font Next, I am going to create a node. I want to create this node on a separate layer. So let's create a new layer and call it Nodes. And change the color to red. In order to make sure that any future nodes appear on this layer, go to Options, Document Properties. Under Annotations, look for Nodes. 
and under layer, click on the newly created nodes layer. Every time a layer is created, SOLIDWORKS automatically puts your workspace in that area. So let's change back to per standard which is the default layer. If I create a node, you can see that it is automatically placed in the appropriate layer, judging by the red color. To change the layer of an existing node, just right click and change layer. So I am happy with this drawing. For future drawings, I want to continue to use the same sheet format. At the same time, I do not want to have to repeat the same steps to change the way my nodes or my dimensions look. This is where the drawing template comes in. I am going to delete all existing nodes so that they do not become part of the drawing template. Go to File and choose Save As. Under File Type, select Drawing Template and give it a name. So let's create a drawing of another part. At this point, you will be able to see the newly created drawing template. Select that. You would notice that without prompting, the sheet format that you want has already been loaded. Remember that the sheet format is a part of the drawing template. If I add ordinate dimensions, you can see that it appears in the exact same fashion that was saved previously. And any notes that I add appear in the notes layer. Alright, hope that you have found this video useful. I will see you in the next one.